Hello everyone and welcome to class of 5G Radio Access Network. So uh, we will discuss today 5G Radio Access Network. So in NR, that means this NR stands for New Radio Non Standalone Operation. So in New Radio Non Standalone Operation, the New Radio Base Station, we denote it as GNB. So this connects to the LT base station which is E node V via X2 interface. That means we can connect our G node V to the E node V with the help of X2 interface but this is for non-standalone operation. So if you make a diagram of this, so this is like evolved packet code. So evolved packet core is connected to LTE node B. So suppose this is LTE node B and this interface is S1 interface. And then E node B is connected to the user equipment. So in non-standalone operation, similarly, we are with the help of EPC, S1 interface. This is connected to CU and then it is connected to the DUs, distributed unit and the control. Now this is in non-standard this is further and this is connected to the user equipment. Now this like X2 interface we can connect with the help of X2 interface whereas in release 15 X2 can be used to connect E node B with the E N G N B. This is in release 15 specifications. So we require for this we require user plane radio protocol. U plane a radio protocol as user plane. Now LTE U plane protocol stack it consists of if you talk about LT it can consist of PDCP, RLC, MAC and physical layer. Now what are the new extensions? That means the main extension or 5G uh, core network, it enables quality of service control. So this QS control is there in the 5G, whereas in LT we are having EPS bearer services. But in 5G we are focusing on the quality of service control. So that means we require to achieve more flexible and finer quality of service control. So this flexible and finer quality of service control that means it enables multiple IP flow through a single protocol data unit. So we have multiple IP flows through single PDU where PDU stands for protocol data unit so we can have multiple ip flows through a protocol now here we require session tunnel establishment between the core network and the base station suppose this is the core network and this is the base station so we require to establish session tunnel so this session tunnel is required to establish between the core network and the base station so that it can have radio bearer mapping so for this we require to introduce a new layer for this and the new layer as SDAP layer. This is introduced. This layer is introduced so that it can perform mapping between the IP flows and radio bearer. So SDAP is basically for mapping between IP flows and radio bearer. This is for mapping between the IP flows and radio bearer. So in STAP, IP packets are encapsulated here in this layer 
IP packets all are encapsulated and they are its header contains quality of service for those packets so as for pdcp layer that means it is below it has been changes pdcp layer has make a changes so that it can support uh, it can it can have more it support even more lower latency and higher data rate so we have changes we have make some changes in the pdcp layer because pdcp layer is required to uh, support some even lower latency and higher data rates in ram so for example we have to enable a large amount of data transfer that means we require to enable or we require to have large amount of user data to be transmitted in shorter hark hybrid automatic repeat request and round trip time so we require more faster layer 2 processing and this faster layer 2 processing must be required so that we can have proper we can have better data rate and for this we require proper block size and more processing which is required to be done in parallel if we require more data rate and lower latency so this is the introduction of 5g radio access protocol why we require stap layer in 5g thank you so much